Hey friends, welcome to our weekly catch up in our Reading Through the Bible in One Year project. It's so good to be here with you today, especially because this is our week 26. We are halfway through our program, we're halfway through our uh, go, and we're halfway in our journey reading through the Word of God. Um, so good, so good to be here with you. Know that some of you were able to read every chapter every day uh, uh, in this journey. Some of you miss a few chapters, left a few behind. Some of you fall behind a little, but were able to catch up. I was talking today with with a good, good friend, uh, saying that at one time I missed a few days and then I had to kind of catch up and and read this one day that I think I read seven or eight uh, uh, chapters of scripture just to kind of catch up with where we were and be able to 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 continue the journey. So yes, if, even the pastor sometimes uh, uh, misses a day or two or falls behind. But we are here. We are in this journey, reading together, growing together as disciples of of Jesus. So so my word for you, I, I think in this journey there are a few people. There are some of you who have been reading every chapter every day, and oh my God, congratulations for being able to do it. Keep up. Uh, and let's continue strong until December 31st. And there are some of us that miss maybe a chapter or two, or they're kind of just starting now. Maybe this is the first time that you're connecting with us in this journey. And and my words for you are continue reading it, continue uh, reading daily, praying daily, responding to scripture daily. This is not uh, a, a program that, that we that's punitive in any sense, but but the idea here is for us to grow in knowledge and familiarity with the Word of God and just grow as disciples. This is what we want. Read the Scripture more, engage Scripture more, so our lives will be shaped by the Word of God. As we are in our half, uh, half year mark, uh, if you haven't got yours yet, please do get your pamphlet, your bookmark, and uh, let us continue uh, uh, in this journey together. We have a new one. We have several copies in the church office. We have some copies online. If you need to uh, receive an email or something, just just let us know and we'll make sure to get the newest uh, uh copy or the newest bookmark with the uh, scripture readings. I'm already starting to mark some of those down. I actually need to mark uh, yesterday and today down. I didn't. Uh, so, uh, but I'm excited to, to continue in this journey with you, to finish uh, strong this journey with you, and to continue growing as uh, disciples, as believers. So, uh, for our catch up in this this past week was very interesting. We read through Ecclesiastes and Song of Songs, and and those are interesting um, books in Scripture because they kind of seem not fit properly. Uh, and actually, uh, the the three last books that we read when we read through Job, Esther, uh, 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 they they also seem kind of fit and not fit at the same time in Scripture. Job, of course, talks a little more about God, and we talked about Job and about Esther. Uh, but when we get to Ecclesiastes and Song of Songs, it's, it's it's I don't know about you, but I ask myself, oh my God, why are these books in the Bible? And 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 one of the things that I learned with with, with this group and this body of Scripture is that they have a different look at life, or they help me to see life in a different way. Up to this point in, in Scripture, kind of seeing the, this this very automatic relationship between the people and God. Well, if you do this, this will happen. If you do that, that will happen. And then Job, Esther, and um, uh, Ecclesiastes and Song of Songs, they have, they, they, they look at life in a different way. And so Job, of course, talks about suffering and pain and how to deal with that and how to remain faithful to God, even in face of, 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 of the challenging moments of life. And, and when we get to Ecclesiastes, also, it, it, it has a complete different, um, approach to it and and and, and it shows it, it, it mirrors really well I think how life is sometimes it's optimistic and, and it's happy and it's joyous and and there are other times that is a little more pessimistic and a little more I don't know skeptical and there are those moments of life that that, that are filled with 
uncertainties and I'm not sure about this and, and everything's vanity. What is the point and what is the purpose of, of, of all that anyway? And, and, and so I, I love those, uh, the, the, those, those piece of scripture that, that share with us and talk to us about, about wisdom, and, but also share a different life, a different, uh, a different side of life, share a different perspective. And, and for me, I, I think a good way to, to summarize the book of Ecclesiastes is, is the search for what has actual meaning and value. And so uh, why do we work? Why do we spend so much energy working and building houses and, and throwing parties and doing all those things? They, they don't bring eternal or ultimate ha uh, happiness. Um, so so, so he, he, the book of Ecclesiastes, Ecclesiastes, he... He challenges that, that the, the things that we invest time and that we spend money on and the things that, that, that during life we ascribe value to Ecclesiastes. It's, it, it's kind of this teacher figure, this older teacher, this wise person that, that has lived through life and has seen many aspects of lives and now we're kind of towards the, the the old maturity of life in this this stage of life of filled with wisdom and time to reflect and ponder and things and it's looking back to the decisions that he has made in life to the things that he's trying to say yeah th there are some things here that 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 I invest in my time and my energy but are not were not valuable or or, or didn't bring the result or didn't bring the response that I was expecting to and, and the meaning of life and value of life was not in death, but is actually in enjoying life and enjoying family and spending time with people that we love and care about. So so it's it's interesting, this interesting perspective in life that the book of Ecclesiastes brings. It, it causes us to think and ponder and, and consider where are we investing our time, where are we investing our money, where uh what are the what are the costs that we're fighting for? What are the things that we spend time arguing about? And, and what are some of the things that it's just vanity. It's just, it's, it's just like the dust and that blows away and like a leaf that falls and is carried by the wind. And so, so, so the book of Ecclesiastes bring this wisdom and, 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 and help us to look at life and see where the value is and where the meaning of life actually is. And then we get to the book of Song of Songs, which is it's it's uh, in my conversation with a few of you is a is a book that gets people uncomfortable. And, and I was talking to a friend about it, and I said that yes, the Bible is not a book for uh, for for children. Uh, it's it's not. It's definitely not a book for uh, for all people. And so. But the book of Song of Songs is it talks about again the, this other side of life that we don't usually talk about, which is desire. Uh, uh, so it's it's filled with this language of of love and desire, and it actually express kind of the 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 ideal uh, the ideal love between a man and a woman, the ideal love of 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 lovers and, and and the desire for one another and the expectation for the time of being together and sharing love, being able. Able to to just enjoy each other's presence, enjoy each other's company, and so so the book of Song of Songs bring this 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 ideal of of what should be what what true love is the the, the kind of fairy tale uh, 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 ideal of 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 searching and seeking the loved one, and for us as Christians as believers, kind of. Uh, it's it's an allegory of of the love of the church in Christ. So when we look to the book of Song of Songs, this the sacredness and purity of love and relationship, and we look how uh, uh, how the desire of Christ for the church is, and we we learn more of of, of how we expect and anticipate for the presence of Christ and for the time that we will be with Christ. But we also learn about. Uh, ideal of, of love, how to share love, how to enjoy uh, the love for, for our spouses um, and, 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 and how to live a sacred and pure and divine uh, relationship with um, our loved ones. So, so again, those are Song of Songs and Ecclesiastes are not typical books that we'll read 
in church or they will preach on regularly, but they they do bring a different perspective in life and cause us to stop and set a different uh, and, 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 and gaze to life in a different way. And so I, I love the wisdom that scripture gives to all the aspects and all the times of life. And so so I appreciate this this taken in, in, in scripture, this taken in life and how the readings for this past week caused us to um, to look at life in a different way. And I, I hope that even uh, these books that don't seem to fit really in the Bible that cause us to think, why in, in, in God's name is this book here? I hope that, that they helped you to, to see life in a different way and to, to look into relationship between us and our spouse and our loved ones and between us and God in a different way. I hope that, that you are growing in all areas of your life by reading the entire scripture, not just pieces of it. And and I'm looking forward to continuing this journey with you, to continue uh, seeing what scripture has to teach us and to bring to us. And I'm looking forward also particularly for the next couple of, of months where we'll have the chance and the time to uh, spend spend some time with the prophets. I, I, that's one of the pieces of scripture that I really love and one of the groups of, of books that I really love, the prophets. And I'm looking forward to have conversations with you about, about it. But again, we say here, and, and, and my challenge for you uh, in this couple of days and this next week is this, to, to look at life in a different way, to, to think of where are we spending our time, where are we investing our time, where are we dedicating our energy and, and how all this brings glory to God. Until then, friends, bye-bye.